Okay guys, um, look now that I've been riding around with this firmware for about three weeks just want to do a quick review of the firmware just um, tell you all about it and uh, just basically tell you how good it is because it is the most awesome thing that's ever happened to this bike really okay um, so just go through some of the main features so obviously your power assist level up and down um, we have the top two buttons you're able to dial in how much uh, power you want so you can go you know as low as you want if you want to conserve battery or you can go as high as you want okay so there is a upper limit and that is your the amps that you set in your battery pack so we'll just go back down to a reasonable amount so you're not going to be riding around it at uh, 900 watts or else you're probably going to cook the motor but you know 500 watts is pretty reasonable so just hold the middle button to get back to the main menu so down here we have the voltage so I've got a 36 volt battery charges to 42 I press the button again and we have the amps so how many amps the motor's pulling uh, this is the amount of milliwatt hours that you're pulling out of your battery pack so I've got uh, 420 on my battery pack I've actually gone over I haven't reset that the new version resets every time you fully charge your battery and this is the cadence so I'll just quickly show you the cadence okay so as we're pedaling we've got a good display of the cadence We've also got a display of the amount of power we're using just over there so the limiting power that you've set in that upper menu is kind of um, the max you're going to see on this so you're not going to go over that value all right now what can I say so look he's fixed up a lot of the issues and the, that we initially had if you can have a look down here you know there was an issue that when you press hard on the pedals the bike would just take off on you as you can see now I'm pressing on the pedal quite hard and the bike isn't moving the motor's not cutting in so the safety feature is done it works very similar to the current firmware it's also very responsive so the moment we start pedaling, bang, we're away. Um, all right, so why would you get this firmware? So the main reason I like it is because it actually gives you a lot more control and it's a lot more powerful. So I've been, um, had a bit of a run with, with my mate who's got the same bike, same motor, same battery, and this bike would just blow him away totally. So there's a lot more power. The other thing is the cadence. So normally this bike caps out at about 90 cadence, 90 RPM. Now what you notice is that the closer you get to that 90, the less power you have. And you get to a point where it just kind of hits a little, like a brick wall. You can't, you can't go any faster, you've got to change gears. So the old firmware makes you change gears early so you can stay in the low cadence range. Now this thing, this firmware actually helps you out. It actually gives you more power the more cadence you, are, you use, the faster you go. So, so you can see now it's like it's pulling and it just wants me to stay in that gear. It doesn't want me to change gears. I mean, I'm already up to 94 cadence. And this thing is really happy to, to just keep pulling me along. Now, we can uh, take this up to about 120 cadence on the 36 volt motor. I've had the 48 volt, well, I've had a 48 volt battery on this motor. And I took it up to 128 cadence. Okay. So, yeah, cadence is fixed. It is so cool to be able to just freely pedal as fast as you want so if you watch my video um, about the review on the TSDZ2 
you probably would have heard that the main reason I wanted to um, to overvolt my motor was to go for a higher cadence and now I don't even have to do that I can stay with the same battery and I'm able to get to 120 cadence which is uh, you know a little bit uncomfortable to pedal but the bike will go there and I'll change before the bike wants me to and that's really all I wanted I don't really have to go to a to a bigger battery pack now so we've done a, a lot of things to this firmware since it's been released about three weeks ago in fact I'm still running um, version 0.3 and they're now up to 0.7 so 0.7 includes things like the speed limiter the 25k or whatever you want to set it to it includes um so there's like a there's like a boost thing that that casinos put in so basically when you press on the pedal and it gives you an initial boost of power you can now select how much power you actually want to boost so so it doesn't try to rip your your blue gear apart now i've kind of gotten used to this this is the older firmware it doesn't have that feature but you can see I just press softly and you know it immediately ramped up to 250 watt and then as I started pedaling it it you know it's back down to about 60 or 80 watt so that's the kind of um, that's the boost that you can control like how high that ramps up from the initial takeoff and that's a great feature I think a lot of people are loving that so yeah there are a lot of people that have taken this firmware on and no one has had anything bad to say about it. I think the main thing that they're asking for now is the light. So you can see we do have the backlight. Just by holding the top button down, we can turn the backlight on and off. But it's actually not turning the the main lights on and off uh, if you do have those connected. So it's something that Casino is working on right now and should have implemented soon. So the other thing we're doing is having a look at the the way the motor functions so he's implemented um, FOC okay so FOC is a is like a cool way of um, of controlling the motor and getting the most power out of it and I'll tell you you can really feel that the motor is more powerful and more efficient um, so on this on this bike here, which is uh, as you can see, knobby tires and um, and dual suspension. Okay, I'm able to do like 32k an hour on 220 watt, which is like unbelievable. Okay, I'm sure if you had a racer, you could probably uh, you know halve that again. But but if you ever tried pedaling a mountain bike, you know how hard it is. Okay, so. So anyway, what I was saying with the implementation of the FOC, we're just working on the algorithm now so that um, we can actually get more torque at the lower revs and um, higher speed and more power at the higher revs. So at the moment, there's kind of like a constant FOC advance and we're working on um, making it a variable advance, which will give you more power again. But I'll tell you, um, you know, everyone who's had a go at this, has been really impressed I urge you all to have a go now and um, you know don't worry about you know running this uh, KTL CD3 it's really worth the effort to install that and um, you know I go through the installation in my previous videos if you do get stuck you know make sure you you shout out so uh, anyway that's just a quick wrap-up of um, of the new open source firmware like I said there's new features all the time grab the uh, the latest version and make sure you go to the wiki so the wiki will tell you how to use the menus okay because the menus are, are changing all the time so at the moment um, on the menu you can set whether you've got a 36 volt motor or a 48 or 52 48 and 52 are the same um, you can set a whole bunch of things like you can set say for instance you want this level 4 you want a certain amount of um, of sensitivity or power assistance on level 4 you can set it up okay with my version it's still I still haven't upgraded I can't do that but but it's perfect I actually ride along at level 2 assist and it's it's awesome um, so anyway so there's a whole lot of new features so um, just the menu system takes a little bit of uh, getting used to 
So I'll just show you just quickly. I'm not going to go through everything, but I'll just show you quickly. So, so like we said, the top two buttons are getting into your power. So hold down the middle button again to get back out of it. Okay, now both buttons get you into the menus. Okay, so the first menu, I think it's going to stay the same. Basically setting up your speed limiter and setting up your wheel circumference so you can get a good speed and then kilometers or miles an hour so we'll get back to sorry hold down the middle button again to get back out of this menu okay now we're out of the menu we're still in the configuration menu sorry but we're out of the main menu so we're going to press that to go to menu one and I just normally hit the down button so this is where you set how many um, how many cells you have in your battery so 10 cell for me which is a 36 volt battery so if you did want to run a 48 volt it's no big deal you don't have to reprogram you just go in there and set it to 14s and that's all you have to do okay so i'm just going to set that back to 10. all right the next menu so i press the middle button to advance this is your maximum absolute maximum amps that the motor can draw okay so despite what you said on the power level this will actually override that okay so we can set that up to you know whatever you want okay I do not recommend setting it above 18 amps okay but if you're not doing a lot of hill climbing then then look go ahead um, and do what you have to do now this sets the minimum voltage so this will this will be like when the battery cuts out so I've set it to 29 volt and um, you know it's up to you guys where you want to set that to so again, it'll just keep cycling. Now to get back to the next menu up again, so we hold down the power button. Okay, so if you remember, we were on level one. So we're going to hold that down. Now we're going to go to menu, menu two. So we'll press the down arrow. So now we're in menu two. We're at item zero. Not really sure exactly what all these do, but uh, have a look at the wiki. The wiki explains what every menu item does. Now to go back out of menu two zero, we hold down the button. Okay, that's going to take us back to menu two. To get back to the main screen, we hold down the button again. Okay, so yeah, that's that's about it, guys. Um, yeah, I do urge you to try it, and um, I'm sure you will have nothing but good things to say about this about this firmware. Um, thank you.